I was thinking I was going to introduce the governor, but instead I get to introduce a very special individual. There he is. I see him. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Lance Armstrong. We better bring the governor up. This is, uh, this is his place. So, Well, thank you all for being here. It's, um, you know, I, I, I guess... I was sort of a late uh, registrant here, um, but I'm glad I could make it. I, I get asked all the time when, I, when people knew I was coming, they would always say, "What have you ever?" I, I got to tell you, this community, you're so proud of this community. Everybody's like, "You ever been to Steamboat?" I go, "No, nope, never been there." And then people tap me on the shoulder and go, "Yeah, you have been there." A long time ago, they had a mountain bike stage race here that I attempted to do. I started one stage and quit uh, a long, long time ago, and it started in Steamboat, so I have been here. Um, but thanks to the Nagels and, and thanks to everybody for, uh, for supporting Livestrong. Obviously, this is near and dear to my heart, uh, starting back uh, 13 or 14 years ago. We never dreamed that we would have an organization that, uh, that could touch thousands or millions of lives, uh, but it's happened. And it's happened through a, a name, it's happened through a color, it's happened through a consistent theme and a consistent uh, connection. Uh, of this disease, one that has obviously touched my life, so therefore has touched my friends' and family's lives. Uh, but I think we all share that connection. And, uh, you know, interestingly enough, the last couple of years, going around the world racing and talking about cancer, you realize that this disease, it doesn't care if you're from Steamboat or Austin or New York City or San Francisco. Uh, boy, it, it, it just, it crosses borders, it crosses language barriers, it crosses um, Langu uh, uh, income it crosses it crosses everything it just doesn't discriminate so we realize that uh, we got a lot to do and our fight here in Colorado or in Texas is very different than a fight in India or in Mexico and uh, you know I think we have to in many ways in the United States especially we may have to readdress how we fight this disease and, and know that you know if I sit here today as a 13 year survivor of testicular cancer there might be a lady down in Steamboat right now who passes away while we're riding from breast cancer. And people say, why did that happen? Why are you here riding and she didn't make it? Uh, because it's a complicated disease. And they're all very different on a cellular level. They'll all be treated differently. They'll all be cured differently. Uh, but we have to address what we call the cancer continuum. And I think the most important key, and we're all exemplifying that today, uh, is prevention. And in many ways, prevention may be the next cure. And so if we can all avoid being put into this position uh, through choices we make or lifestyle choices or healthy choices, That'll help, and then beyond that, we have to obviously have the funding. We have to have groups like this that help. Uh, we have to have all of these things that we consider in the continuum. So, uh, again, this is a reminder of that, and uh, it's just a great honor to be here. It's an honor to. Where's my mom? Is my mom here? She's all right. Well, I'd be in big trouble if I didn't talk about my mom. So, she'll be at the finish. And when you see her and meet her, you'll understand why I would be in big trouble if I didn't give her a shout out. Uh, Dave, Dave, where's Weens? He's over there warming up. <laughs> Kicked my butt today, but uh, Dave, thank you for being here. I got to know Dave a couple years ago at Leadville, and really kind of uh, uh, that Leadville race two years ago uh, with Dave, and, and Dave riding away from me out around Turquoise Lake. That started this whole comeback thing, and I'll tell you all a story. I mean, he, he, I've never been in a race where you're getting dropped and the guy's like, no, no, come on, stay with me. <laughs> I go, Dave, I cannot stay with you anymore. <laughs> no, come on, stay with me. And I said, no, you're going to have to go by yourself now. And so I rode along to the finish. But uh, thank you for being here, Dave, and, and uh, legend right there. So uh, I guess it's now it's up to me to introduce the governor. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Governor Ritter has gotten to be a great friend of mine and, and through obviously the new, uh, what started out as, as a primitive idea of, of relaunching an old event here in Colorado. I got to know the governor, went out on a long bike ride. I had this idea that we needed another stage race in America and logically it should be here in, in Colorado, almost a rebirth of the Coors Classic. Yeah. Came home after a couple more long bike rides and said, you know what? Screw it, I'm going to call the governor. That's the only guy I can think of. And so I called Governor Ritter, and uh, not knowing at all that he would have any connection to cycling, he said, well, you know, I actually went to law school at CU, and I would stand on the roadside and watch the pros go by on Morgul Bismarck. And I thought, okay, I called the right guy. Um, but that, from that wacky idea uh, to that simple first conversation is now become a rea reality with the Quiznos Pro Challenge, which will start next August uh, in this good state. So, uh, Governor Ritter, thanks for all your help with that. Thanks for being here. and. Uh, um, I'm trying to go with you.